bodily reaction ends with Better Call Harry working to get a woman help before she and her family are kicked out of a hotel. For Pamela McNutt, this is rock bottom. There's just no help. There's nothing. There's nothing. Pamela, her fiance, and her teens are transitioning to homelessness. They've been staying at the airport travel lodge, but with their stimulus money gone, it's time to check out. What are you guys gonna do? I have no idea. I don't know. <laughs> I drive as much or as little as I want. I was saving money to pay bills. For five years, Pamela made good money driving for Uber, but in March, life stopped when one of her passengers heard a cough and a sneeze. I just have really bad allergies and I'll try and explain the pollen. And she got, she refused to finish her ride, asked me to please pull over, and she called Uber herself. Uber only stopped her from driving for a day, but eventually the rides dropped to zero. As a gig worker, Pamela qualifies for pandemic unemployment assistance. She even got the email to apply from Georgia's Department of Labor. But when it didn't process, we asked them to help this Uber driver find her way. How did it feel to answer that call and hear from somebody? Amazing. Amazing. And we worked it out so Pamela and her family could stay one more night while the Department of Labor gives it one more try. And I'm not sure if anybody else has told them this. I think that they are doing a great job and I really appreciate them. I appreciate every piece of their effort, every piece of it. In College Park, I'm Better Call Harry, CBS 46 News.